Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into a couple of ideas if you are last minute shopping for quote unquote him. Okay, so it's a little bit more masculine this one. If you're looking for a more feminine flair for a gift guide, I have another video. I will link it up right here. Also keep in mind there is a giveaway on that video that is a bit different from the giveaway going on in this one. So let's get straight to it. I'm gonna start with the giveaway item and the first thing on the gift list on the gift guide, it's the Portable Go Light by Philips. This is so cool. You don't need the Hue Bridge to control this item, but if you do get the Hue Bridge, like Scott and I have had for a really long time, and now we have upgraded and also added these, the Play Bars, which is the green that you see behind me, you have access to 16 million colors to change it to. And I'm gonna show you right now, because all you have to do is get their app, if you do have the bridge, add in the serial number of the light that you have, and then look, you can literally change the colors of what you got going on in the background, which is great. But this is a portable light. So of course, if you bring this camping, for example, you aren't going to have your hue bridge. So to answer the question, do I need a hue bridge if I do get the portable go light? Am I gonna be like one of those kids that gets a toy and it doesn't come with batteries and I can't play with it? The answer is no. You can actually use this without the hue bridge, but if you want to access those 16 million colors, you will need the Hue Bridge to connect. This bad boy does come with seven color presets though, so you are kind of all good to go, all set with this. Such a cool way of kind of setting the vibe when you're editing by your desk, or say a reading lamp beside the bed, or just even just setting the mood, who knows? Access the colors with this, and this is our giveaway. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below something that's on your gift guide this year, something that's on your wish list. Give me some more ideas of what I could add to some gift guides next year. A bonus entry as well, follow me on Instagram, and if you have done all of those things, you will get two entries into this. Let's circle back just slightly. So number two on the list will actually be those play light bars. So these bars are really cool because they can go pretty much anywhere. You can lay them down flat, stand them up. And with all of the lights that are connected to that hue bridge, say you get these, the whiz lights or even the hue lights, you can adjust the colors, the lighting. You can also set what's called rooms. So Scotty and I have like in our kitchen and living room, we have a couple different settings. We have bright, chill, dim, and then nighttime. So just with a click of that app, we are able to completely change the setting of all of our lights. They are fully in control. I have also been learning, I don't game, but I've also been learning that you can connect these lights to a gaming system and they can kind of like go with your gaming. You can set your own sunrise with them so they kind of wake you up in the day. And uh, it's it's been really, really cool just to kind of set them up. So I want to show you just a little bit. There's a couple things to note. There are so many different options when it comes to these hue lights. So I've been kind of discovering that on my own and I invite you to as well. Where to buy them, that's probably the biggest question. You can buy them online and you can buy them in stores. Those stores include Best Buy, Home Depot, The Source, Visions, London Drugs, BMR, and Staples. So yeah, so we have already uh, answered the question that you can use that. I went to Best Buy, this uh, light that is included in the giveaway, running about a hundred bucks. So you can get that for free in the giveaway if you do all those things. So moving into just the starter kit for the Hue system, 85 bucks, two lights, you, you'll get that bridge and you'll be pretty much off to the races. These Hue LED light bars, one of them, so two special offers as well, also available at Best Buy. There are um, ways that you can add a few of those lights together and package them, but one of them running around $90. Moving into the rest of our gift guide and really getting to it, I also found this at Best Buy and I thought it was really cool. It's just a wireless speaker, but it is just kind of an old fashioned look. And I thought that that would be really cool addition to someone who likes a minimalist style, but is looking for a bit chic too. If you have a gamer in your life, why not pay for their 12 month subscription for PlayStation? That could be quite kind. And listening to music has, this sounds so salesy, I was just about to say that literally off the cuff. Listening to music has never been easier, but literally never. I don't have AirPods, Scott has them. I am always tangled up in my cords or I use my Beats, which I also love because I can connect them when I am editing and they have no wire, which is amazing, but they are quite chunky and they can make some people's ears hurt. So beats are cool. 
those are the, the little solos. You can also get the studios, they're a little bigger. But AirPods are also a great option. Epidemic Sound is the access that I use for music for my channel. So basically what this is, Scott is so great. He bought me a subscription last year for Christmas and I have access to all of the music in all of their albums. I can search tons and tons of different types of music and because it's connected to my YouTube channel, I don't get copyright. For the creator in your life, awesome, awesome option. Keurig also has this cute little K Mini Plus single serve coffee machine that I think is a really great option for an appliance in the house. This is actually the giveaway in that other video, so if you're interested in winning one of these for free, um, well then check out the video uh, for her. Bath & Body Works just came out as well with a men's collection. So they have been offering this <laughs> Midnight collection and there are also a few other fragrances, Graphite, there's Midnight, Ocean, really cool. So a couple of scents that may appeal to the guy in your life who may not have thought that body, Bath & Body Works was like their thing. Great for stocking stuffers as well. This I searched because I feel like if you have someone who is a bearded man, they would like this. It is basically a shaving set, an old fashioned shaving set. I thought that was really cool. Kiehl's as well is a really good option when it comes to skincare. And for men, it's a little bit less feminine looking. And I feel as though if they're kind of looking to create a skincare routine, Kiehl's is a great place to start because their customer service in store is great as well. And you can kind of ask them what to buy your guy based on their complexion. Whenever you don't know what to buy someone, a really good option is actually refilling something they already have. So this is the clone that Scotty uses and uh, buying a clone is a pretty easy bet to put under the Christmas tree. It's not the cheapest option, but at least it's something you know that they'll like. A new scarf is always fun too. Sometimes it may be harder for a guy to pick out his accessories. However, I know a lot of very well-dressed men and finding a beautiful scarf is a great option. If they don't have a pair of root sweatpants, those are pretty much a go-to, okay? So camping, going to the cottage, roots is just kind of a classic style that will never go to style. It's just one of those things I think everyone should have in their, in their uh, closet, especially when you're sick, throwing out a pair of root sweatpants, that's like the best. Marks also has some awesome options for guys, including slippers and boots and all that other stuff. So if you're looking for clothing, a bit more rugged style, a bit more, um, some of those more plaid outfits, I would definitely check out Marks. Sockbox, this is only available in Canada. So it's a monthly club. They will send socks every single month and I think it's the cutest idea. It's you buy the gift and it keeps on giving all year long. They'll get a new pair of socks and it will always be exciting. Lulu obviously has some great options for men's gear. If you have someone in your life who's looking to get into fitness, Lulu is a really good option for that. Also, buying a new pair of running shoes. Now, to the dads out there, I know we all, uh, love ourselves some new balances, but getting a new pair of Nikes, maybe even just a matte black pair that will go with all the outfits is just a way to kind of bump up a street style look and making it super comfy and easy. Back to the athletics. Have you ever seen one of these? It's a tissue foam roller. So I used to use these when I was playing varsity volleyball and they really help you get the knots out. If you know someone who's starting to run or starting to work out, it is also good to do some of that prehab and rehab because you may be sore after. A foam roller is a great way to do that. Fitbit as well is gonna keep you accountable and the company is phenomenal. There are quite a few on sale currently. Four watches, Daniel Wellington, pretty iconic at this point. You're gonna go Daniel Wellington, Fossil, those are all really great options for grabbing a watch for him. And uh, I love the minimalist style of these ones. Muji has come out with these pajamas and I got a pair and I wish that I got Scott a pair too because they're seamless on the side so they're so comfortable. Sometimes just having a full set pair of pajamas makes you feel put together when you're going to bed and I love that. Getting into a couple of the personalized things on Etsy, there are personalized tags for travel, personalized little keychains that you can get, personalized little groomsmen gift bags but you could probably just get one. I just liked the fact that they were, um, they had those little monograms on them. Or you could even get personalized cutting boards. So adding that little bit of a touch with something that somebody likes can always give you maybe 
you that leisure to spend a little less because you thought a little more. I love this one, dinner is coming, and uh, I included this one on the one for her too because how cute is that, even for a wedding gift? The names and the dates, I love that. Okay, so you got the cooking board, but you don't know how to cook? Get some cooking classes! This is an option that uh, one of my best friends and I got our other best friend when he was engaged because then it was like a nice date night out. Making yourself more handy in the kitchen is the gift that keeps on giving, even to you. So speaking of handy, tools are also included in on that. I got myself, uh, got myself actually, a little, a little pink tool set. My mom bought it for me when I was moving into my first place. That was great for gals too. If you're thinking of something, a tool set is great. This website I found, and at Indigo and Chapters, they also do this. They can do monogramming um, on your books. So if you get a little leather journal and then you can put that little uh, monogram of their initials, I think that's just a, such a nice touch. Also some men's bags in here when it comes to computer bags, it might not be something that your guy has. So that's kind of a good option, a bit more of a rustic look on those wallets as well and you can find those at Fossil. I like these too, the Herschel bags. A duffel is also a really great gift and uh, you can pretend that's a huge gift, you could maybe stuff it with some paper, but for the traveler in your life or for a guy who doesn't really have a duffel, it's also just such a great option to have. This is a bit more of a feminine look, but the idea of this is what I like. Little travel cases to help you stay organized when you travel. This company comes out of San Francisco and their products are so well made. Speaking of travel, I've always seen these bags and always wanted one. I am currently using my dad's suitcase, which I mentioned in the other video too, but Away has these phenomenal bags, and I really want to get one, expandable, and you can also get these aluminum ones which are cool, and you can get ones with chargers in them too, so that's a really cool option when it comes to buying luggage for the traveler in your life, or the future traveler. Love this, those turntables, the classic style for those. You can get um, those in many different areas on Amazon, on Wayfair, sometimes you can get them in Urban Outfitters, just a really cool option. Now, might seem like overlooked for a men's present, but honestly, picture frames with pictures in them are such a lovely gift, no matter who you are. It just says that I was thinking of you and I remember this memory together and it means something to me. Here's a photo. Maybe not a photo of you, just like specifically, but like you guys together. This one's cute. I love this. So um, a star map or even a map of a city that they love. No matter who it is, there's got to be a special moment in life that happened. I've also given this as a wedding gift on the night that someone was uh, married or someone was born. You can get a star map of the location of where you were, what the sky looked like that night. Kind of a cool flair. I have one of these and I'm constantly changing the words in it. It's the cinema light box, my cinema light box. This is the one I have. And you can get different kits with different slide in letters. So fun, always writing messages to each other. So these glasses are double walled. I don't know if that means anything to you, but to us at home, I have these, the Zwillings and Henkels double walled beer glass. And it means everything because everyone fights for these because basically what's happening is your cold bevy goes in there and when you are holding it, walking around a party or just hanging out, your hand isn't warming your drink inside. So your drink stays really cool. They are so fun to drink out of, I don't know why. And then even if you get the coffee glasses, your hand isn't going to be um, exposed to that heat. It just has such a cool look. I also love these little mixology bar sets. If you know someone who doesn't have a bar cart yet or hasn't really started on that kind of thing, that's also a great option. The gravity blanket as well is super cool. If you've never heard of this, it's basically a weighted blanket and it feels like a hug when you put it on top of you. And it's great for people who even have anxiety or so I have heard. Um, so this is kind of a, a really cool option if you know someone who really likes to snuggle in. This next one, the Google Nest Hub. Now, Scotty and I both have the Nest system. We don't have this, uh, but it's pretty cool because you can control a lot when it comes to um, any media, lights, or even the thermostat, cameras, locks. That could be something cool if someone is really into tech and they don't mind this kind of system. I know some people do not like it at all. I bought this for my dad two years ago. He has a motorcycle and it's such a cool motorcycle cover. He loves it because when he puts the the baby asleep, he just covers it up. My brother also has one and it's this exact one from Canadian Tire and it has been proven to make the man's happy. Though Sage maybe could 
seem like more of a feminine thing that you would do. Okay, come on. Guys love great spaces too. They love great smells. They love having a nice place. So uh, last year, this was on my gift list. Um, and I ended up getting it. It's a sage diffuser. A sage diffuser is such a lovely gift and I would suggest as well when you get the incense, grab one with a couple of little guys in it so they can choose what they like, but my personal suggestion would be liquid sunshine. Meditation is something that a lot of people want to try but they don't really know how. So Headspace is an app that has guided meditations. It's absolutely phenomenal. You should try the free trial if you have some time and if you're interested because their guided meditations are so lovely and they will just put life into perspective and if you know someone who maybe needs to calm down or they would love to try meditation this is the perfect subscription to give them a go in the holidays an escape room i literally just uh researched escape room toronto wherever you are look at the escape rooms look at the ratings they are so much fun if you're nervous to do it don't worry it's not scary it's just more of a fun experience so this is what you could maybe pitch you get someone for christmas and you get four or six or eight of your friends and uh then you're off to the races and you can see if you can escape the room and fun memories are made in that Speaking of making fun memories, Ticketmaster as well, an awesome option when it comes to buying Christmas presents because you're buying an experience, you're buying a future memory. And I always think I'm excited for the memories I'm making right now when I am at a concert or at a sporting event or something like that. If you're not into the loud music, maybe you're into the calm walking around. Uh, the Art Gallery of Ontario also has some tickets that you can buy or even subscriptions that you can get if you know someone who would like to go back and forth and kind of dander around some of the exhibitions that they have on. They constantly change up the events so a great option for a present that you may not have thought of. Another thing I would suggest is trying a coffee table book. There are many ideas and blogs online that will tell you some great coffee table books for men and it is just kind of one of those fun gifts to give because on Christmas Day it's one of those gifts that they could just be like sitting and scrolling through and you can see them enjoying their gift right there and you can get them something so specific to what they like. This says a hundred contemporary concrete buildings. That is so niche. But you know what? There are a ton of these so if you know their top interests, maybe it's whiskeys of the world or something like that, you can get them a coffee table book that will totally satisfy that interest. Okay, so that was all of my stuff for the guys. I know that there are so many other things that you could get someone for Christmas, but you could get them something free that you could give them, or you could just keep it to yourself. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind keeping this to myself, but unfortunately it's in the giveaway here. Good for you. <laughs> Okay, so if you guys want to enter into this giveaway, this is how you can. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment on what is on your gift guide. And for a bonus entry, if you've done all those first three, then subscribe to my Instagram account, and I'll throw your name in there twice into the bundle of names that will be chosen from, and you could be winning this. The Go Light from Phillips. Phillips, you guys are so phenomenal. I love you guys so much. And I love you guys so much as well. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if you're interested for uh, a couple ideas for her, you're also stuck there, check out this video um, that I have linked up and will be on the end board. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in my next one. Good luck shopping.